average 65 women are murdered each year because of domestic violence, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Violence affects all facets of society, regardless of race, age, or gender. Lonnie Elliott and Kelly Cusance have a goal to help put an end to violence, and they're here today. Welcome to the News at Noon. So, I guess, first of all, we have an upcoming rally. Tell us a little bit about that and when, when it is and where it is and why. Well, we're going to be hosting an anti-violence rally that's going to be taking place at Parkdale Park mm -hmm. um, over by the Rainbow Youth Center. Yes, okay. over by the Rainbow Youth Center on 4th Avenue, mm -hmm. directly across. And this is the first time that you've had this type of rally? This is the first time that we've had this type of rally, but we would like to see it get bigger and bigger, and we want to do it on an annual basis. So we're hoping that this is just the start of something bigger. So why now? What, what do you think the need is out? There's always probably a need for some awareness, but what, why now? I think essentially, in all sense, just to create awareness about the violence in the community and challenge societal norms in regards to violence. Uh, an example of that would be like how violence is glorified in the media with our young folks. If it's not through music, movies, video games, there's always, uh, it seems, the norm is if you're going to resolve conflict, you're going to resolve it with violence. That seems to be the the focus on things right. instead of dealing with things in a positive manner. And, and we hear constantly, and you, and you mentioned the media, and we hear in the news about reports of, of incidents in, in, say, North Central Region. I won't use that as a stereotypical uh, example, but we do hear about incidents all over the place. You see this in the communities yourself, and you hear about these yourselves? In all honesty, I don't think that there's anybody, you know, um, anywhere who can honestly say that they haven't been affected by violence, whether it's a family member, you know, whether it's their dad, you know, their, their, their children, their, there's, everyone is affected by violence in one form or another. And I, the, the purpose of the rally is to bring people together and to get people talking and to raise awareness. And that's what we're hoping to accomplish with this. Right. And, and you're right about that. Most people, everybody, even myself, I'm, I'm familiar with it. We, we know about it. Um, what about yourself, if I could be personal, have you been affected by violence? I have been. I am a, a survivor of domestic violence, and I'm raising sons. And my sons, um, I, I had decided that my sons are not going to grow up in that cycle. They're not going to repeat that cycle. And in order to do that, I, I needed to stop. I needed to stop it with myself. Um, so it was about educating myself, and in order for my sons to live a good life, I had to set an example for them, and that's what I hope to do. And by getting involved with rallies such as this, um, I think that that's what I'm doing. I am being the change that I wanted to see in their world. What about you, Kelly? Have you seen, experienced, or, or been around violence? Oh, definitely. That's one of the main reasons why I'm holding this rally. Uh, off the top of my head, I can think of my sister-in-law who was dragged underneath a car for three blocks in Regina here a few years ago. Uh, the young mother of two who was murdered in Saskatoon, Letitia Fleury. Mm -hmm. I was good friends with uh, her family, well, her sister and herself. And um, a young Cusans boy from the Regina community who was murdered as well from my reserve. There's so much uh, instances where it's either friends or family who are or being directly impacted, and that's why I feel that this event has to happen in the community. It seems like a cycle where, for some people, there is no end. It's a dead end, you know. You're in this situation, and there's no way out. What advice would you give to someone who may be in the situation that there is hope, there is a way out? You know, I, I remember feeling that way. I remember feeling that there was no way out. Um, but the thing is, you know what, there are resources out there. There are people that care. And it's simply a matter of reaching out and, you know, and deciding that we all have the power to stop violence. We do. And we need to take an active role in it. And, and it, there's nothing wrong with admitting that you need help. There's nothing wrong with, with seeking out, you know, outside sources. To, to assist you with that, so, and, and that's the whole purpose of the rally, is to raise awareness. And so what's going to happen at the rally? And, we, and once again, we'll just remind our viewers that it takes place next Thursday, and the, uh, it's called the Regina Anti-Violence Rally and Barbecue, Thursday, July 28th, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., yes. Parkdale Park, Fort and McTavish, and for people who aren't familiar, that's in North Central Regina, across from the Rainbow Youth Center. Yeah. What's going to happen? So what we have is uh, we, we're going to have like now they come out do the opening prayer. We have speakers lined up. But the point I wanted to get across was that the speakers are all from within the community of Regina who have all been directly impacted by violence. So I want the community to feel that this is a community event because it's all people from the community. We're going to have a, a drum group there doing an honor song for the, the victims of the violence. And we're also going to have face painting for the kids and 
free free burgers and hot dogs. Good. Good. Yeah. Sounds like a, a good day for, for people and, and eye opening. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people took part in, in making this happen. Can you tell me about like who's involved and, and what's the who you want to well, mention uh, someone's name or people? For sure. Uh, definitely there was um, uh, Tasha Ajakode, yeah. myself, Lani Elliott here, and there was a couple other people from within the community who brought this idea to us. So we uh, decided to pick it up and thought it was an awesome cause. I, I think it's a great idea. We're running out of time here, but I want to thank you both, and uh, CTV will be out at the rally next week too. Awesome. Thank, thank you. The news at noon will continue. Are you stopping?